All right. You look like you're excited with waiting for this, right? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Uh, it's, uh, it's Mark, can you please hold it here so that I don't want to... Yeah. The, the wheel doesn't have lock, so... Yeah. Just hold it. I'm going to put it down. magnetic tape model 6 all right so this small piece of machinery is a vacuum tape unit was in there but it looks intact and SMS cards and as usual the, f the phone disintegrates so the first thing that goes oh that's no good uh, a piece of something here. Yuck. And it looks like I have a free manual. <coughs> IBM. With the schematics of the thing, that will be helpful. Some maintenance records. I have to look at this. A tube. That's probably important too. Yeah, that's. It's one of these things here um, obviously will need to be replaced even though the slots are so we got a little bit distracted from the alto restoration here and while I was cleaning the beast can you reverse engineered it already these are from 1970 something, right? So the machine, um, the, the 360 generation would have started in 64 with this ALD scheme. So the, this diagram is date of 81. So it, early revision of the 73. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. well, 73 reprinting 81. And you no, know, we found some interesting thing. There's all the test points here. So you would say uh, N2, which is, this is uh, N2 here. B06, so B. So how do you know it's N2? You can see the lettering, say E. Oh. You know, it's I see, on I see A2, C2, E2. Right, right. Yeah, so I it's, see it. It's, it's A through N and then 1 through 8. All right. But the edges are all connectors only. Yeah. We found this little interesting bit. And there's a little mercury switch here, uh, which apparently is. 
uh, sensing the airflow. So I guess the uh, machine won't turn on if the airflow is not going. So it goes over here. And so this is an interesting mix of SMS and SLT PCBs. Just for me, the motor is made in France. It says Moteur Bertrand. So we, we discovered it has fiber optics with a big bulb over here and fiber optics. Carl was the first one to figure that one out. So this, this is the, the French it, it, motor. It, it, it. Oh yeah, we saw it in the schematics. Okay, Ken, Ken has the the discovery badge for that one. And yeah, you can see there's still some foam back there that I have to remove. I have to remove the other panel. Okay, can you open the SLD uh, door? See if we can get it. So. SLDs were pretty good. Uh, we have one loose thingy. I, I think it come out here somewhere. Um, oh, and uh, Carl, you found out the uh, where where we put the address of the machine. Yes, this this card here has a. Why, why don't you pull it out since okay. we already did it? I'll hold that for you. So these are the jumpers for setting the address of the machine on the channel. Right, yeah, this is later. One. So that should match the number on the front panel. Right. Um, so if I go over here, boop, that's the number that's reflected here. Uh, right. All, all the vacuum tubing is shot. Uh, so I it's uh, so I have all stuff. I have one extra idler, but I, I think we found where that goes. No, the interface connector is this one over here. Yes, yeah, no fuse over the place. Want to open the front? And up at the front, we have a whole bunch of stuff. So it's it's fairly clean. Vacuum columns. Oh, there's some condensation. That cannot happen. Rain. Yeah, it's been raining all day. So there's some foam here that, that that I need to replace because this is part of the air mechanism and that needs to go out. I have a feeling though this has differential air pressure depending on how many outlets and holes, which might help with. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, could be. Uh, and then what else did we uncover? Any? The, can you? So you lift it at the bottom. You lift and pull, there you go. So more stuff down here. More fuses, more SMS cards. And then we were marveling how smaller, much smaller the vacuum switches are uh, on this tape. And okay, this guy, is the, well no, the tube is loose over here, so it's probably broken. All those tubes are half broken. On the other side, they're completely gone. Tape heads. Oh, this will have to. Well, they look okay. Looks no, 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 not much corrosion. This was my biggest worry. This is the uh, cleaner thingy. Oh, that's, no, that's where's, the where's the blade? Somewhere. Oh, no, this should be somewhere in here. I'm not sure exactly where one oh, no. of these blocks. Uh, any anything interesting you found behind this? That's more of the same. All right. Yeah, so while I was cleaning, the guys were taking the thing apart. <laughs> I heard all kind of weird noises. And yeah, this I haven't cleaned quite yet. All right. Do I have a crack at it? Delicate crack, right? Yeah, I mean, there's no release spot on it, so it has to be just... Okay, so there is a hinge there. Do you see like a latch? Maybe you need a screwdriver for the latch or something. Computer history museum card. Oh! Very smart. Nice, beautiful switches. So well, you, no. you would change your lamps by doing that and pull the right. lamp out. Okay. Nothing. The switches are more complex. <coughs> There's <laughs> like a threaded hex nut on the inside tightening them on. And it has 4,300 hours on the tachometer. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, what? and this is a quote high security uh, closer to open up the usage meter because you could defraud IBM ah. the hourly rental, so they use these things. It'll snap off. Ah, oh, no when I reset it. Okay. It's like rolling back the odometer on yeah. your car. Yeah. Well, so we, we just open the right side and more power supply this, this and the like vacuum right motor. See, it's sheared right there. Feel it. Yeah, and then we have this right, that went to the tube. Uh, Ken, can you give me a little bit of uh, cell phone light by any chance? I sure. There we go. Oh, yeah, right. So then we can see it. So that's vacuum pump, vacuum filter. That's the end. Yeah, so the, yeah, the tube that goes over here, I'll leave it there, it's a good cue where, where it goes and, and it, 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 it goes in here somewhere, it broke off right there. And, oh, that's a pump, some kind of yeah. air pump. Yeah, no, I'm sure it's vacuum. But I mean, it's got a filter. Yeah, I'm sure it's a vacuum pump. And what is this then? The motor for it. Motor, blower. Vacuum pump. Blower or vacuum? This should be vacuum too. No, blower. Or blower for cooling? Yeah, you have to blow the air. I, I see it and it, it comes out here. Whoop. To cool down. So they have a centralized blower. And the left motor. And, and this is the horrible foam I have to deal with. I had removed some of it here already. It's just... Ugh. Uh, guys, I might have gotten a little bit overboard and uh, this is a um, 381 tape which I ju just got in the first part of the video and uh, um, uh, I got it some friends. So actually to be fair, there was a, a very tiny thread of uh, logical thinking behind this because what I was really after was this rather nondescript blue box which is the tape controller and there was one available uh, and uh, had been for a while so I bought it and uh, while I was at it it had tape surrounding it and uh, dear wife say that uh, those things are worth preserving so I took that for a yes and uh, here they are here and this one is pretty darn banged up um, so that will be uh, my most probably uh, the, the uh, parts tape it's, it's sort of no it fell off uh, a lift I was told uh, so it's not in good shape but now with uh, two okay ones and the parts one my chances of getting the uh, two other up are pretty high uh, and uh, this is really the one I was after this is a controller for the tape. Uh, so that's a real piece of uh, 360 hardware. Ooh. And look at that back plane here. So this one is in pretty good conditions. Uh, so that's the tape controller. It's actually two microprocessors, if you can call them that. One on the channel side, one on the tape side and uh, so it has its own little panel it's missing a few knobs and a few lights but I, I already uh, found replace original replacement knobs so that's not going to be a big problem lots of bus and tag cables here uh, that I don't have so that's going to be interesting uh, power cables to the tape I'll have to remake them too and I turn the controller around so it has uh, 5,000 errors on the clock uh, and this is the part I wanted to show you so from the back from the back sorry it's pretty bland and that little thing here that's a power plug so that is actually look at that cable this is 60 amp 3 phase and uh, I, I won't need 60 amp because this is made for uh, 8 or 16 tape something like that and I have only two but nevertheless I'll need uh, that's going to be my next big problem here is how to power this thing up and I'll need a converter 
uh, for uh, transforming my the two phases I have into three phase with decent amperage. Um, so I think, uh, fortunately, I have the uh, I have the high amperage plug for a Tesla. <laughs> so that's what it's going to do. So we can choose either electric car or IBM 360 tapes. <laughs> choose one of the two, not the two at the same time. But that's going to be the drill here, or the dream, is to restore the tapes and the controller and uh, hook that up to a, an FPGA emulation of the 360 controlled by the uh, uh, front panel that I showed in my previous video and have uh, recreated an IBM uh, 360 system with tapes. We'll see, that'll take a while. <laughs>